injured Russell's wiper. Because of the uh, incapacity of the snake to eat on its own, this particular snake is being force fed with vitamins. As you can see, uh, Gianta is using these forceps to basically uh, ensure that the meal is digested uh, forcefully so that the snake survives. So you can definitely view the wonderful fangs of this beautiful snake. Look at those fangs. They are about uh, uh, half an inch in, the, in length. Nature's perfect hypodermic needles. And so it's being force fed and it's been basically allowed to digest on its own. And now this snake had not been force fed for the last two weeks and this is its last meal after two weeks. Administering the snake is basically chicken. Chicken, right? Chicken. What is the uh, vitamin that you supplement this with? Uh, vitamin B. B complex. B complex and... Uh... Is there any other thing that is necessary or you do it just so that the snake yeah. Yeah. is able yeah. to get its natural uh, vitamins that it normally would get from its wild caught prey but because its inability to go ahead and capture wild caught prey you're introducing these things so that the snake gets the requirements okay. so that it'll get it uh, artificially or this through other means. Okay. Now this snake, Sanat, was it this healthy before at this diameter and this girth when you first got it or was it thinner? Yeah. Thinner? Yeah, thinner. It was very, now, uh, okay. Yeah. Now it's basically gotten fat because yeah. it has yeah. been force fed yeah. and that shows that the snake is, is well, it's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's uh, obviously yeah. also yeah. When uh, people state that uh, all snakes are, uh, you know, people are snakes have no feelings, I will say that this particular Russell's knows your touch. Yeah. I don't care what people tell me. Yeah. I believe that snakes are more sensitive to us yeah. than we give them yeah. credit for. It's scientifically not proved, but I can tell you from the technique that you handle it, that it does not try to bite you. Right because it knows that it depends on you for its existence. So we have to say that this is what makes us come back to relocating it and also to uh, uh, basically uh, uh, help them when they are in need. Right now Jayantha is inserting a piece of chicken with a pair of forceps and also a little blunt pen that has no tip in order for it to help it and it's grabbing it from its back teeth and it's working its way down the gullet. So someone just you're just massaging it so that it goes back down so it doesn't regurgitate. Sanat, another technique is what we do in the US is that we dip the meat in egg yolk. Egg yolk causes it to slide down the throat better. So remember that.